What's happening everyone? Jay Shoplast here and we have the Anti-Monitor and uh, this is one of the big baddies of the universe for DC Comics. I would say, I don't know, I'm trying to make a comparison for Marvel but it's pretty tough. Um, if you finish the game, uh, this is I guess kind of a bit of a spoiler alert, um, if you haven't finished the game, divert your ears for a moment. Um, but at the end of the finished story section uh, cutscene, you actually see the Anti-Monitor appear and Darkseid cowers in fear to him. Now, my perception of Darkseid is he is basically, I mean, alright, look. He came first, I get it. But basically Darkseid and Thanos are very comparable in the, their respective universes. And I don't think of Thanos cowering to anybody, and I think of Darkseid the same way. So that kind of tells you everything you need to know about the Anti-Monitor. Um, he is kind of, in a lot of ways, maybe like Galactus, um, only more evil. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I guess that's the best. Uh, comparisons don't always work, but that's the best I can do. Uh, you guys can probably, if you're a, a huge DC Comics nerd like I'm think I am, but probably I'm not. Uh, you could certainly maybe give a better perspective uh, and comparison, but uh, essentially this is a character that you unlock after you've beat the main story. Uh, so he is uh, awesome looking. This is his new 52 look, and it's a little bit different than the anti-monitor that I feel like I've, I've grown to know over the years and, and see, but it's definitely still a cool one. This is... Uh, one of the characters that made my top 10 villains I wanted to see in the game. And he barely made it. <laughs> so all you have to do is actually beat the level. Uh, there's really nothing else to it. Uh, but a lot of people have been requesting, you know, seeing him. So I felt like I, it was probably a good idea to go ahead and do so. Um, he's pretty dope, though, as far as... Uh, he does grow awesome. Um, he's pretty huge and uh, pretty awesome as far as, you know, the characters of this game are concerned. They definitely did a good job with him. I would have preferred his more, you know, original, traditional, you know, costume. But it is what it is. And, you know, I'm just kind of happy that he's here. Now, my question is, were they setting up, you know, LEGO DC Super Villains 2? Or whatever they're going to keep calling this. I can't imagine them, you know, going with the, the same formula every game. I hope, I'm glad they've gone to LEGO DC. I hope the next one is LEGO DC Super Heroes and they're fighting against, you know, the Anti-Monitor or whoever it may be. Um, definitely a really cool character. We'll see what happens, though. I mean, this is a, a great start, though. I'm glad that they've moved away from LEGO Batman. Trust me, I get it. I'm glad that, they, that it existed. Uh, but this... Putting the focus a little bit more on, you know, the actual DC universe and not just Batman is awesome. It's a lot better for, I think, a lot better. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so I like it also that the big figs can fly now. But yeah, he, he's perfect. Uh, I mean, this is exactly what you want to see from such a cosmic entity like the Anti-Monitor who uh, once wiped out billions in the galaxy but not with the snap of a finger I believe he was also um, I think he was also in the Sinestro Corps at one point so that was uh, pretty cool I remember him popping up during like Blackest Night I think he was even like a, a Black Lantern so you know Pretty cool stuff. So let's go ahead and actually uh, I'll shrink them down here. I love like the whatever it is that's coming out of his fist, the energy. So let's go ahead and uh, look at his character card, Anti Monitor. Character number three Boost Lift, Flight, Electricity Protection, Fire Protection, Heat Bolts, Heat. Toxic goo protection, toxic gas protection, hyper jump, photo mode, wall smash, super strength, and transform. Long ago, a man known as Mobius constructed the Mobius chair, 
a device that allowed him to travel through space and time, witnessing all of history. While exploring the antimatter universe, Mobius merged with the anti-life equation to become the unstoppably powerful anti-monitor. Crisis on Infinite Earth numbers 2, 1985. So here you go, the anti-monitor. So maybe maybe he's more like uh, a Nihilus than he is uh, uh, Galactus. Because Annihilus was basically like the ruler of the negative zone. Also wanted to kill everything and everybody. But he didn't because Richard Ryder ripped his throat, heart out of his throat. So yeah, it always comes back to Nova, by the way. So there you have it, uh, the anti-monitor. A lot of people have been requesting this. So here we go, I, I will get Dark Side up soon too. Hope you guys enjoyed checking this guy out and we'll see ya.